Come in, Stephanie. So, this is it. Where is everybody? This place looks deserted. Maybe they're down by the lake. In the bikinis. I don't think this is the right place. Like, where's the welcoming committee? And the desk clerk? We need to check into our room. Ew! Totally gross! This is so not a nice place. It's a bit rusty, that's all. It's alright. You mean rustic. Whatever. This isn't rustic. This is a dump. This is like worse than the inside of your locker, Justin. Are you sure you pulled the map? Yeah, pulled the map. Let me see the map. I don't know why you don't trust me. Ah! What's the map? It's a rat! Don't panic, ladies. I'll protect you. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Smother it? There it is again! <laughs> it's only a little mouse. Exactly. What do you mean by little? Little, like a regular sized mouse, Justin. I don't know. This can get pretty big out here in the country. Mice? Rats? They're like all the same between. Let's get out of here. But it's our prom weekend. I don't think the prom is going to happen here. Why not? Because Christopher Columbus here read the map wrong. What? Let me see that. So, I don't see a problem. What's the name of this place? I don't know. It should say somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's the Chip Lake Lodge. But we're supposed to be at the Chip Lake Resort. Yes, we are. And we're the resort relative to where we are now. It's on the opposite side of the lake. We took a wrong turn at the TNU section, Justin. Oh, Justin. Now my prom is like totally ruined. It's my prom too. Said 92. We still got time to get to the other side of the lake. Let's go then. I might start to get itchy. Can I have the map, Jennifer? I'll take the map. You just drive right to me. Just try to take. Sometimes it can be so intimidating. Where did you leave them last? I told you they're not in my pocket. I already checked. How can you lose a set of keys in such short notice? Check again. See? Nothing. Well, let's retrace your steps. Where were you last in this room? I came through the door, I walked around a bit, and I ended up at the desk. You were up on the sofa when you, like, ran away from the rat. I did not run away. Well, let's just look under the cushion, okay? Just a minute! Okay. Now you can look. Do you want to get up there with her, Justin? <laughs> There's no room. There it is again! Get it! It's gone already. Gone where? It could be anywhere waiting to like attack me. Don't worry. Here's the key. Let's all go then. Wait for me! Don't panic, you two. The first thing we should do is report this to the police. 
Good idea. Give me the call, Jen. I'm going to scout around. Maybe I can find somebody. Maybe the police can drive us. That would be like a totally awesome way to arrive at prom. Look, here's the number for the police. It's right by the phone. Hello? I'd like to report a theft. Our spark plugs have been stolen. My name is Jennifer Atkins, and I'm calling from the... Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? We've been cut off! What? Let me try. It's dead. Oh, great. I don't know why we decided to have prompt like way out here in the country anyways. It was a totally stupid idea. It was your idea, Stephanie. It was not. Yes, it was. You were the one who wanted it to be in a country club setting. By a lake, dancing in the moonlight, crickets cheeping, remember? You pushed and pushed until you had your way. I did not push. We, like, took a boat. And you were in charge of counting the bullets. All right, you two. It doesn't even matter. What matters is how we're going to get out of here. Somehow we've got to get to the other side of the lake. I think I know how we can get there. Did you find a boat? No such luck. But it is actually found a canoe. Down at the boathouse. A canoe? What good is a canoe? We need a car, Amy. Look at the map. It's only about three miles straight line. If we all paddle, we should make it. But we'll be all hot and sweaty by the time we get there. How to stay at the prom or cool and dry here. Take your pick. Besides, Steffi, I bet we'll be the only ones there to ride by boat. Yes, we'll be the talk of the night. All right, then, let's get going. There's some life that gets hanging on the wall of the boathouse. Let's go, Justin. I'll be the new Patrick, and you can be my Anthony. We'll sail down the Nile on my barge. Get real, Steffi. It's a canoe on your Lake. Like, that's the trouble with you, Justin. You have, like, no imagination. Yes, I do. Like, right now, I'm imagining who's going to be doing most of the paddling. Stop your whining. Like, that's what men are for. I did not whine all that. <laughs> did you guys go to police, Jennifer? I did, but we were cut off before I was able to tell them where we were. Really, let's try again. It's dead. What are we going to do now, Amy? We're going to roll across the lake in the canoe. You make it sound so easy. Are you sure we can do this? Of course we can. You and I took out there, Ed. Justin used to go camping with his friends every year. All we have to do is keep <coughs> Stephanie from freaking out. If we keep her focused on making a big entrance, everything's going to be fine. Well, maybe we should leave a note, you know? Just in case you need to send a search party or something. Nothing's going to go wrong, Jen. It's just a little canoe, right? I know, but what if a wind comes up? Or what if we lose a paddle? You have to stop worrying so much. Your hives are going to flare up. <sighs> You're right. Let's get out of here. We had better go to the car and get to Do they? <laughs> no, I don't think so. 
Besides, it was only a mouse, Justin. Never be too sure. What are you doing? I'm gonna be ready to protect you girls. From what? You never know what's smirking about. You're starting to scare me. Don't get historical, Jen. I'm here to protect you. You know what I hate more than anything? I really hate spiders. Me too. Spiders gross me out.
somebody should stay here just in case she shows up. If she comes here and we're all gone, she'll panic. Good idea. Well, I guess I'll have to stay. After all, she is my date. <laughs> You're making absolutely no sense, but fine. You stay here. Jennifer and I will let you go. Okay, Jen? Okay. I think I'll feel a lot better if I'm doing something good. Now, whatever you do, Justin, stay here, don't leave this room, and don't do anything. We do not want to blame us. Stop scratching. No problem. Doing nothing is right up my alley, cat. Don't mess with the great and powerful Justin. <laughs> Who's there? I know somebody's there. Please come out. Justin, where is she? Justin, Justin, 
It's coming from over here. Justin, help me. It's coming from this vent. She's in the basement. Stay there, Steffi. We'll come and get you. How do we get to the basement? I saw some stairs down at the end of the hall. Let's all go this time. Good idea. Okay, let's stick together. Justin, please help me. Justin! <laughs>
No one else would ask me. There. Now you know. Oh, it's okay, Steffi. Well, I know one thing for sure is you're going to miss that prom over the resort. The best thing you could do is spend the night here. And we'll see about getting out here in the morning. I don't think that's such a good idea. Have you got a better plan? Well, not actually. <laughs> of course you don't. You can't stay here. This place is haunted. <laughs> what was that? Just because she thinks you love it, haunted. Then why is that? I've heard a voice and music. I heard her too. She was calling out for me. That would be Patricia. You know about her? I sure do. Her name is Patricia Kratz. This old place here hosted its fresh air fancy parties over the years. The last prom hunter was in 1981. That was Patricia's prom. It was quite an affair. The dance was right on the terrace, and there was lights on the veranda along the dock. Everything was perfect until Patricia and her date decided to want a moonlight canoe ride. Somehow the canoe tipped, and Patricia's date made it back to shore, but Patricia didn't. So, Patricia's ghost is still here? So they said. The voice is a ghost? So they said. A ghost? But it sounded like so real. Sir goes, she was supposed to be prom queen, just like you. And she's still waiting. Waiting for what? To be crowned prom queen. Once she has her prom queen crown, she'll find a rest. But why hasn't there been another prom here since she died? The story about Patricia got out real quick. And once people knew, nobody wanted to book a prom here anymore. In fact, I only think those ghost chaser types around here. These are the first people I've had here in about two months. How do you afford to keep it open? Why not sell it off? I'm attached to the place. It's peaceful, and it's got a great view of the lake. But what about Patricia? She doesn't bother me anymore. We don't want to fire. You've heard her before? A few times. Uh, listen, I was going to make myself some supper. How about making it to me as well? But that would be very nice of you. Would you like any help? No, that's fine. You sit here and relax. This must be very upsetting for all of you. By the way, my name is Leroy. There's something about the guy I don't like. What are you doing, Amy? Those are private papers. Just keep an eye out for them. I want to find out what's going on. The only thing that's going on is that I'm missing my prom and my crowning. Give it a rest, Stephanie. Look at this. What have you found? It's a bunch of newspaper articles all about Patricia's death. Does it like say anything about her being prom queen? Yes, it's all here with pictures. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, she was quite a babe. <laughs> Here's a picture of your date. He kind of looks like you, Justin. Only he's a hunk. It says here there was a murder investigation and the crime suspect was Patricia's date, but there was no charges laid because there was no evidence. Look at the pictures of the lodge. This must have been a high class place. There's a boathouse. Look, here's your interview with your boy. What does it say? It says, Patricia's not at peace, and she will not be so until her destiny has been realized. What destiny? To become prom queen. Listen, everyone at the lodge that night knew that Patricia was to be crowned queen. It was to be the end of a highly successful high school career. This tragedy might have put an end to her life, but not to her spirit. Her spirit remains at the lodge until her destiny can be realized. Do you suppose she's watching us now? That's not all. The clairvoyant gives a warning. Let everyone know that Patricia does not intend to go to her peace alone. She intends to take the king with her. So she waits for the next prom to select her eternal date. That explains why there hasn't been another prom here. And that explains why she wants you, Justin. It does? She needs a king. You're the only guy here. Sweet. <laughs> But you have to die, Justin. Oh, then count me out. <laughs> Why can't Leroy agree? He's a guy. Look at this picture. It's Leroy. Leroy Kratz. Patricia's brother. What now? Don't panic. It's only the main breaker. The wiring in this place is old. I can't run too many plants at the same time. I'll go through the breaker. I told you there's something strange about him. Does anyone feel cold all of a sudden? Justin! It's almost time, Justin. Come with me. It's her again. Come and be my king, Justin. Come with me. 
I don't want to be king. <laughs> I'm too young to be king. <laughs> You're choking me, Justin. I was trying to protect you. <laughs> Leroy will be back any minute. We've got to get so. What's going on here, Amy? I'm not sure, but this is also strange. I mean, why is Patricia's brother here after all these years? Maybe he's here to help her. But how can he help her? Stephanie's right. Maybe he's hanging around here, waiting for an opportunity to grace his spirit. How would he do that? He can hold a prom and crown Patricia's queen. And Justin could be your king. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> I made everyone hot chocolate. We get to know Nippy out here in the evenings. It's very nice of you. It's no big deal. It's only hot chocolate. So you know my name. But I don't know yours. Oh, my name is Jennifer. This is Stephanie and Amy. And this is Leroy. My name's Leroy. <laughs> Stop working around, Justin. His name is Justin. Right. I'm the guy who might not even graduate. So what high school do you guys go to? McNally High. It's in the city. Oh. I graduated from here myself. Mind you, that was quite a few years ago. What have you been doing since then? A little bit of this, a little of that. Couldn't really find something I was interested in. I'm taking on this place. That's right. Something about this place called out to me. It isn't the only one she called out to. <laughs> Listen, I, I've been thinking, I feel real bad that you're going to miss that prom over at the resort. How about we have a prom right here? Tonight? Sure. I've got a stay room to take. It's not the modern league you only to. What we can make do? We don't want to put you through any trouble. It's, it's no trouble. It'll be fun. But it is such short notice. That's part of the excitement. I've already got some pizza in the oven. I don't think this is like a good idea. Sure it is. I, we can make your prom queen. And Justin here could be your king. I don't want to be a king. You can be king. I'm too old to be a king. I'm feeling really tired. Brian, we're very tired. <laughs> I'm feeling really tired. I'm sleeping too. Not about it. He's putting me in a new pocket. Mine has marshmallows. <laughs> Don't you worry about them, my lady. I've got a special plan for you. What are you doing? I'm tying you up. I'm keeping you downstairs. Why? What did I do? Why can't I go to sleep like everybody else? I can't have any competition around. There's going to be one prom queen, and that's going to be Patricia, not you. What's going to happen to my friends? They're going to a prom. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight is the night, Justin. It's our night. Tonight, you'll be crowned. Just a little friend of yours. 
Hey, why am I tied up? We're all tied up, Justin. By who? By Leroy. Does anything stay in that little brain of yours? Lots of stuff stays. I'm not as stupid as I look, Amy. Don't you guys think we should concentrate on getting out of these ropes? Good idea. Let me see what I can do with your ropes, Jen. This isn't working, Amy. <laughs> Calm down. Amy, I need a scratch. Amy, I can't do this. How did I not feel these ropes get on me? I found some music. I hope I didn't tell those ropes too tight. I want his daughter to have fun. Good tune, don't you think? <laughs> You've got a pretty good beat. A little heavy on the bass, but it has danceability. I give it a 7 out of 10. How can we possibly like anything when we're in a hot tight like this? I know, but I can't have you guys in before the big event. Now wait here. Well, you got one more thing. Here, Jen. See what you can do with my rope. Now I remember. He's gonna throw a prom and crown his dead sister as prom queen. <laughs> Welcome back to the real world, Justin. I'm going to die. Not if we can get out of these ropes. Man, he must have been a Girl Scout or something. <laughs> I wonder what he's done with Stephanie. That's right, we have to save Stephanie. We will have to deal with Leroy too. I found you guys pawn outfits. I want 
die. Please don't let me die. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Please don't let me die. I have an empty stomach. No, wait here. Well, I saw your queen. Welcome to your palm, Patricia. Thank you, little brother. I've waited so long for this moment. Not as long as I have. Now, cause I gotta get on with it. Certainly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your prom king, Justin. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It is with the greatest of honor that I crown you, Patricia Kratz. Your queen. What just happened here? Stephanie, is that you? Duh. Like, who else? Where did you come from? The basement. Like, that place is really starting to burn me out. Get us out of these ropes. Like, where did you get these dresses? They're like so valuable. Never mind the dresses. How did you get free? I was a girl guide, you know. All that not stuff like really came handy. I had to go to paid attention in that class. You'd be surprised what I know, Jen. You had better free Superman. Justin's over. Am I dead? Don't be silly. Are you sure? Would you feel that if you were like dead? I don't know. I've never been dead before. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dead, little brain. What were you muttering just now? I was making my last wish, like the curse says. Was I in your last wish? Actually, no. I was making a wish that I didn't die, and I guess it came true and for Patricia didn't. I guess I really threw a donkey wrench into the curse somehow. <laughs> what happened to Leroy and Patricia? I think they are going to like, you know, another place. You made it happen, didn't you, Steph? How did you know, how did you do that? Simple. I like put the crown on Leroy's head to be like, you know, became Patricia's king. How did you know that would work? I was in Mrs. Farley's class with the paranormal study, silly. You were in it too. Don't you like remember that section on curses? When a curse involves an object, the curse will affect the person who was in possession of the object at the time the curse is fulfilled. Boy, you sure are smart, Seppi. I guess that's how you're graduating and I'm like, huh. <laughs> Maybe we should save this chat later. Amy's right. We should get out of here. How? I think everything has gone back to normal now that Patricia has, you know, got her wish. Great. Justin, go check the car. Me? Go outside? In the dark? Yes, you have a key. Okay. Make sure to listen up for my girl that screams with fright, okay? <laughs> if the curse starts, let's just get out of here. We can come back for our cities in the daylight. That's fine by me. The sooner we get out of here, the better. That goes for me, too. I'm never going to forget this night. That's for sure. It's been a real disaster. <laughs> no, it hasn't. How can you of all people say that? You didn't get to be prom queen. You didn't even go to prom. I know, but like, no one else is going to have such a cool story to tell on Monday. We'll be the top of the school. This is better than being prom queen. If you say so. It started. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Well, that went fairly well. I'm glad you think so. You're free of the curse. But I don't have Justin. I was an idiot. I'd rather spend eternity with a good-looking idiot than with my brother. You've got a point. So what do you want to do now? I don't know. This is such a downer. How about we go down to Winfield's place and make cops with with message your minds? You're so immature. You can stay here and pop. I'm going to go have some fun. Are you sure it's in here? Yes, I'm sure. Amy brought it in. Can we get it tomorrow? 
Be serious, Justin. I need it, okay? Where did she leave it? I think it's somewhere by the sofa. Hello, Justin. Oh, hello. How are you? I mean, I just came in here for Stephanie's makeup bag. I thought maybe you came for me. Mommy!